Namaste beautiful yogis. I designed Interval Yoga as a holistic system for mind, body and heart that combines ancient spiritual yoga teachings with high intensity interval training that will get you in the best shape of your life. I have thousands of testimonies from people that have done and followed my classes for years. Come on to my website and read through them. They're extremely inspiring. On my membership, I have 400 classes and right now I'm adding a three month beginner program that can get you into the more advanced classes. I'm also a brand new mom, so I'm offering a lot of tools for new moms, how they can lose weight, get back in shape, feel positive. My membership is the best offer out there on the internet because it offers you classes for every occasion. So come on over to my website, sign up for my membership, and I'll see you on the mat. Namaste. Namaste beautiful yogis, today we are doing a vinyasa somatic movement combination class fusion starting at the front of the mat our usual meet up spot meet me at the front of your mat and let's bring the feet parallel to each other and we're gonna do a few pelvic tilts here so bringing the tailbone back and taking under and bringing it back and tuck it in under and let's bring the breath in soft knees and let's open the arms out and over the head, steady the body, lift, lifting to the fingertips, exhale folding forward, and let's bend the knees and wrap the wrists around the elbows hanging here. Great, hands on the floor, step it back, plank, pressing the heels away from you, chaturanga, upward dog, let's roll the hips side to side, softening, looking over the shoulders, back to chaturanga, Downward dog. Pull the belly in and up. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Press the back heel all the way back. Press into it and come up high lunge. Exhale the left hand down. Twist here, starting with twist. Softening the belly, softening into the twist, reaching over the head here. Pressing the back heel away from you. Feel that twisting action. Step it back in, side plank, strong side plank, connect with your core. Inner thighs squeezing towards each other. Flex your feet. Reach over the head and arch a little here. Great. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, pull the belly in, draw it up, take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, step it wide, take as wide of a high lunge as you can. Let's bring the right hand down, press the back heel away from you. Feel that back heel, open the chest towards your leg, reach over the head, soften into this twist and step it back in side plank, squeeze the inner thighs in towards each other, let's reach over the head, arch a little, 
stretching, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, let's get going, right leg comes up, step it through, come up, hands in prayer, deepen the twist, breathe, your breath here is the most important thing, the posture is just support, deepening of the breath. Great, bring both hands on the outside of the right foot, straighten your legs, step onto the outer edge of your feet, walk your hands in so that you can get a little bit of a stretch here in the hips. Good, step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, step it through, inhale, come up. Hands in prayer, twist and soften the belly. This is great for detox digestion. Open up the elbows, flare them out so that you can deepen that twist. Let's bring the hands down on the ground, straighten the legs. Flex the feet, walk your hands all the way to your left, breathe into your left hip here. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it on, coming up, hands in prayer twist. Wrap under. Keep softening. Both hands on the inside of your right leg and take a Please variation, keeping your knees bent here. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through. High lunge. Hands in prayer twist. Now open the chest, soften the belly. Wrap under if you can, otherwise stay in the previous pose, in the prayer twist. Both hands on the inside, step it out, bend the knee slightly, splits or split variation with bent knees. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward dog. Lifting the tailbone as high as you can. Bend the knees and squat. Let's come into chair. Take the tailbone under, hands in prayer. Twist to your right. Knees together or knees at the same line. Back to center, opposite side, twist. Mm -hmm. 
back to center, over to the right, knees in the same line, take the left leg back into high lunge with a twist. From here, come to the front, wrap around, hands in prayer, and let's go to the funky alley twist pose. Twisting to one side first, but worry not, we're gonna twist to the other one too. So whichever one you take first, then give me the opposite side. Now if your gaze lifts up, it becomes a little more challenging. You can look at the floor and that anchors you. If you get steady as I did, look up and then whoo, and you lose it. So keep challenging yourself. All right, coming back to center. Step it back, high lunge. Reach over to your right. One, two, three, four, five. Down, plank chaturanga. Up dog, chaturanga. Down dog. Do you feel strong in your chaturangas? Is your core strong? Let's jump into chair, left side, step it back, high lunge, twist, coming to the front, wrap around, and elbow to knee, twist, so anchor yourself in the floor, gaze into the floor, and then lift. Sometimes if you have moving objects in the room, they will throw you off. <laughs> Opposite side. All right, that's the... Woo! All right, that is it. If you lift your gaze, it becomes more challenging. And I have to work on this. Unwrap. Step it back. Plank. Right leg lifts up. Right knee to chest. Right leg across. Push up. Reverse it. Left side. Push up, right side, left, right, and left, and back to center. And jump to the front, come up, and we're gonna go in. Step your feet a little wider than hip width apart, and just find strong stance here and we're going to begin to move the pelvis and let the spine follow the wave-like movement of the pelvis let your arms close in open up close in open up let's bring the breath in circular breathing so each exhalation is immediately followed by an inhalation not pausing in between it's also known as rebirthing breath and let the neck follow as well Really allow the spine to loosen up of its pattern of holding. This can reroute your nervous system. Peripheral, it affects the peripheral of the central nervous system.
Feel the flexibility of your spine and your neck. Let's move side to side a little bit. Reversing it. Open the arms. Again, pelvis moving. From here, we're going to bring in all the bandas. We inhale, inhale, contracting the banda and bring your hands from either pelvic area or all the way sweeping from the floor up, earth or up and lower. Circular breath. One hand over the belly, one over the heart, chest. Pause for a moment and just become aware of the sensations in your body. Connect back to your body. Oftentimes we spend the entire day, week, outside of our body, disconnected, unaware of what the body feels like, where there are sensations. Come back into your body. Mulabandha as you inhale, releasing, relaxing Mulabandha as you exhale. Just paying attention, simply paying attention to the sensation. Allowing yourself to return in the body. Alright, should we shake it off? Let's shake it off. Be, be silly. Begin to shake off as if you're in a shamanic dance circle. And I'll bring the hands in. And get the sound going. Shaking class with a little more now, slowly coming up. It's really intense and you feel it for the rest of the day. So you're, we're keeping it a little less today, but it really gets the patterns out, out of your tissues. It's an opportunity to repattern your body, your emotional body too. How you connect the emotional to the physical, how you hold trauma, past. It's an opportunity to Shake it out, breathe it out, let it out. But because it is intense, I'll keep it a little shorter today. And if you want more, there is a whole shaking class on my membership. Back to the front of the mat. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look ahead of you. Plank. Chaturanga, upward dog, Chaturanga, plank, and here we're going to twist the torso, side to side planks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down dog, inhale the right leg comes up, step it through, alignment for Warrior one, come up. Warrior one, heel to heel alignment or 
or you can step it out a little you can step the back heel out so that your feet are hip width apart that's a little easier for some straighten the leg reaching ahead of you press the right hip back lower down twist you should have a lot more twist now after we shook it all out <laughs> all the tension out soften the spine is yielding into this movement lower the chest over the leg step it out so gliding the back leg out and we're going to glide the right hand out to the right flex the feet open it up stretch it out very good step it back plank give me a really strong chaturanga upper dog chaturanga downward dog this is totally a class for releasing standing energy if you have energy but you can't access it come to this class you'll be able to unlock it to open it up take the left leg up step it through either heel to heel alignment feel free to step your right leg out so that your feet are actually hip width apart if you feel that will benefit your stance it's a modification press into your back heel let's straighten the lead the lead knee square your hips reach ahead of you and lower down lower the chest over here right from here just glide your back foot back glide your left hand out and open here and plank and a really strong chaturanga and an upward dog and a strong chaturanga and a downward dog core is what makes your chaturanga strong not the shoulders core inhale the right leg up open it bend the knee step it back and give me a wow thing or a back bend maybe grab your ankle and coming out of this step the right foot to the front come up Prayer twist, wrap twist, step in and lift up and straighten, look back, lower down, hold your twist, hold it and reach up, drop the knee back, reach back, down to the ground. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, open the hip, drop it behind and go into a back bend or a wild thing. Maybe grab your ankle and coming out. Loosening up the body. Let's walk in place here and move. Move the heels, move the legs, move the shoulders, move the body. As if you're dancing, but just loosening up the tissue, the connective tissue, the fascia. Loosening up the way you perceive your body, the way you hold it. Good. 
Great. Step the left foot through. Reach up. Hands in prayer. Wrap under. And step to the front. Focus. Come up. And straighten. And look away from your foot if you can. And release to the ground. Plank. Ten more of those. Swaying hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull the belly in. Step the right foot through. Give me a twist. Right arm up. Step it back. Opposite side. Give me a twist. Let's go fast. One, two. Can you keep up? Three, four. Move, twist from your core. Eight, maybe. Are you keeping count? I'm not. Ten, I think. Ten more. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, drop the knees on the ground, lower the chest to the floor, back bend. Coming up. All four, on all fours and we're going to lift the right leg up left hand to right ankle press it away from you open that shoulder and lift right hand to right to right ankle you can open here just to experience the openness opposite side right hand We'll grab the left ankle, press and go away from you, open that shoulder. Change sides. Excellent. And we have a fly. And do you feel undulating moves here? Moving the spine, unhinging, coming unhinged, shoulders in, and let's flip over to tabletop. Lower down, soles of the feet together, stretching here. Take your left foot to the front. Step the right foot back, high lunge, come up, reaching over your head and reaching five times to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Lower your forearms on the ground and bring your head into your hands for um, headstand. And lower down. Forward bend, wide legged. Let's reach over one leg, over to the other, open the feet out, come up into plie. A few hops here, kind of feel the plie, strengthen the joints and bones. Loosening up the spine. Let's reach over 
side reaches. And let's finish up this powerful session with some couple of happy breath. This time breathing only through the nose. It's a hyperventilation, hyperventilating breath. So you can use your hands to get the exhalation going. Push up, jump to the front, two squat jumps, jump to the back, push up, two squat jumps, really power up the body. That's three, that's four, that's five, and we're gonna change it up. Now step it back, push up, jump into the front, hold and push your booty as far back as you can. Hold here and really flex it. Woo! Okay, one, two, I did this for membership yesterday and it's one of my favorite burpee discoveries. Two, I like discoveries. Push the booty back, push and flex it. You can flex it, mind-body connection. All right, one, two jumps. Push it back and flex it. It hurts. Two jumps, that's the third rep. We have only two more. Flex, flex, flex. Oh God. Ooh. Last one, it's almost powerful <laughs> all right if that doesn't build the body I don't know nothing <laughs> and lower down sit between your heels stretching here and breathe Ujjayi Coming back up, you can twist and twist and lower down, supine twist, to supine twist, Shavasana, now rip the, all the breathing that we did. Today was an intense class combining somatics with vinyasa. So you may feel it for the rest of the day in your heart, emotions, mind, body. If you feel like shaking more, like crying, like if you feel that there is any, any sensations in the body or any needs, make sure that you go with the flow allowing the body to repair.